Welcome to the SolidCam University channel. This video's topic is multi-axis drilling. Multi-axis drilling could cover four axis and five axis. So I've actually grouped them together in one video so we can see how you could do it if you had a simple fourth axis part or if you had a multi-axis five axis part. And you can see here on the screen, the part we have is a good representation of those two things. On one side, we have simple straight holes that go through the center line of the part. And on the other side, we have multi-axis holes. They are actually on an angle. If I put this in wireframe mode, we can see those holes there. They actually pass through that center hole. So I'll show you how to do both of those. Now, for the simple holes that go through the center line of the part, we can use a simple drilling operation. We'll just go add milling, drilling. And in the Mac 1 position 1, the setup axis, there's no need for an index plane here. We just go right to the setup axis. Instead of just going right in there and choosing a drilling hole, I'll actually click on this little arrow first and say, the geometry I'm about to select, I want this to be around the fourth axis. So I click on that. Now when I go to choose my geometry, I can still choose a face to uh, auto-select all my holes. But now that I've said to do it around the fourth axis, I'm looking for a cylindrical face. Now, the fourth axis in this case will be the Z axis. So I'll make sure to click around Z, choose that face, and it automatically finds all the holes on that face. The hole is defined by a complete circle on that face. Click the green check mark. That's my drill geometry. After that, the rest of this is the same sort of drill operation you would have created in any other mill module. Just choose my tool, choose my levels. In this case, we're just gonna go down to, I think it's this point right here and so forth. Save and calculate. And we have our fourth axis. And all that was was just clicking right here around fourth axis. Okay. So that is four axis drilling. If the part though is not down the center line, if the if the if the drilled holes do not pass through the center line of the part, they are not four axis holes. They end up being five axis holes. So how would we handle five axis holes. Well, that would be under multi-axis drilling. So as soon as I click that, this is a much more sophisticated toolpath, but it actually seems a little easier to use, and you'll see how. So again, Mac 1 position 1 is our setup axis. Whenever you're doing five axis code, it's usually Mac 1 position 1, the setup axis. We go to geometry, and my drill geometry, it just gives me the one button to click on, so I just say new. What it's going to do here is it will automatically find all the holes. Holes defined by nice cylindrical geometry. So in this case, if I just click find holes, it finds all the groups of holes possible on this part. So the same four axis holes that we saw there, that is shape group one. Shape group two is that large center hole there. And then shape group three are my five axis holes. Okay. Um, with this one toolpath, I could do all of those. Uh, especially since this is a five axis machine, so I literally could do all those. But since I already did the first uh, four axis holes in group one, I'm gonna get rid of those. So I'll just right click, remove. Group two is a different size of drill e uh, either way, so I probably don't even wanna use that in this particular toolpath. But again, it's the center hole. Uh, I might have done that on my lathe or I might have done that somewhere else. Doesn't matter. I don't want that included on this particular one here. Now. These are the five axis holes, the ones that are at the angle. These are what I was using this toolpath to achieve. But you'll see that the normals or the directions of each of those holes, they differ. Only four of them are in the correct direction. So all I have to do is click on the plus sign and then I can review each one. So that is in the wrong direction, I'll click reverse. That's the correct direction, that's the wrong direction. So again, I'll just go through this and reverse each one each incorrect hole. Okay, so all eight holes should be in the correct direction. So I click the green check mark. Obviously I can always click show, make sure I got all my drill points correct. Tool, just like we would in a regular drilling operation, I'll just choose my tool. My levels, in this case, because we're dealing with a five axis tool path, I can change my clearance level to a cylinder. This way I'll change it to a clearance cylinder that has a radius of five inches in the X, or the, sorry, uh, around the Z axis. Let's go to technology, same setup as before. I can choose my drill cycles if I like. Tool axis control. 
if these holes could come out as a four axis code, we would set that up as a four axis. But again, this is five axis, so I'll leave it as five axis. And it has the same gouge deck controls as you would have seen in the other five axis toolpath. So as soon as I click Save and Calculate, we now have all, all eight holes milled at that angle there. So multi axis drilling is essentially easy as long as the geometry yields itself. There may be a few things you can do here and there to get it to work, but ultimately you saw how easy it is basically just choose from the geometry around the fourth axis or four axis holes that pass through the center line, or for all other holes, we basically use the multi-axis drilling and maybe a few tweaks, and we've got our toolpath ready to go. So if you need any help with this, or if you have any other questions, you can always review the videos also on this YouTube channel, or you can call us back at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. Thanks for watching.